What's up, dude? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be talking about a, another controversial person. So let's get into it. Damien Stephen Bre Brennan was born on June 7th, 1965 in Bristol and grew up in Leeds with his Irish mother. He never met his biological father, but he had a stepdad from when he was two until he was 12. Damien was a very rambunctious kid. He was arrested twice for shoplifting. His mother cut up his bondage trousers and heated up one of his Sex Pistol vinyl albums and turned it into a fruit bowl, which I don't think she understood how ahead of her time she really was because a lot of people have started doing that with their vinyl albums. They'll heat them up and then put them in a bowl to like form a nice little dish and it makes, I mean, honestly, it really does make a really cute like coffee table type bowl or like in this case, a fruit bowl. So that was very interesting and I thought it was kind of funny. So she didn't even realize what an influencer she was for the time. Um, Damien said that if she didn't like how I was dressed, she would quickly take me away from the bus stop. However, she was very encouraging of his passion for art, which was the only successful educational subject that he had. He went on to study at Jacob Kramer College, which is a specialist arts further and higher education institute. For two years, he worked on London building sites and then studied fine arts at Goldsmiths College for three years. Uh, he had to apply to Jacob Kramer as well as at Goldsmiths College twice. He wasn't accepted the first time, but the second time he made it in. So I thought that was kind of funny. He has a track record for having to apply twice, which in the end, I don't really honestly think it matters how many times you apply as long as at some point you get in. So while he was a student, Damien had a placement at a March mortuary which was an experience that influenced his later themes and materials and i think you will understand how that influenced him so what was the controversy that damien hurst which i could not figure out why he changed his last name was involved in and honestly i think a lot of you are gonna be like oh yeah i heard something about that after i explain it to you so the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living was a art installment that he made. It was created in 1991 and it consisted of a preserved tiger shark in a formaldehyde solution in a glass panel display case. So it sold in 2004 for at least eight million dollars but this was like it was sold after the shark began to deteriorate so it was replaced with a new specimen in 2006. Damien attributes the damage to the Satachi Gallery, which had added bleach to the liquid solution that the shark was in. So he said that it was their fault because they added bleach to that solution and that's what caused the shark to begin deteriorating. In 93, so two years after it was made, the gallery had the shark skinned and stretched over a fiberglass mold. Damien said it didn't look as frightening. You could tell it wasn't real. It had no weight. In 2003, the Stuckism International Gallery um, ex exhibited a shark that was put on, di on public display two years before Damien's titled A Dead Shark is an Art. So the shark that they put on display had originally been on display in JD Electrical Supplies shop window. So the controversy behind this is a lot of people say that, okay, so you put a dead shark in formaldehyde and essentially just preserve it like that's not really art you just preserve the dead shark basically um but damien has done this with a lot of other animals if you google it you will find that he preserved a decaying bull and cow which that display was actually taken out of a uh, gallery because they were afraid that it would induce vomiting amongst the people that came in to look at it. So that was interesting, but he has used a lot of dead specimens, like ranging anywhere from insects to, you know, cows and sharks. And he had a zebra and I'm trying to think of what other ones he had as well, but there's been a lot of like dead animals in his art, which, you know, a lot of people are like, okay, ethically that's not really okay, but 
I mean, I would hope that these animals had already deceased before he did this. I hope it wasn't like he had an animal killed. But ethically, a lot of people are like, okay, this isn't art. You're just putting on display a dead animal, which to some degree, yeah, I agree. Like, where's the, you know, artistic vision in that? You know, it's not like he painted anything or he drew anything. He just took a dead animal and he preserved it. So that's what a lot of people have an issue with. Now, art, kind of like comedians, tends to be a little bit more on the controversial edgy side of things. Um, there's a lot of art in the past that has caused a, a lot of backlash. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a, um, there was a, I think it was on a canvas that sold for like millions of dollars. It was painted blue and then had a white stripe down the middle. And a lot of people were like, how is that art? You painted a canvas white or blue and then just, you know, essentially taped off that strip and then took the tape off. Well, that blue was actually an extremely specific blue that is very hard. It's, it's hard to get that exact blue. So that was what made it so valuable and so cool was that that shade of blue was very difficult to come by. But a lot of people were like, well, I could have done that. But you know, there is a lot of art that people say, well, I could have done that. But it's like, well, why didn't you? Like you clearly didn't have the vision to do that. Like, I guess, Damien could argue you didn't have the vision to preserve a tiger shark for people to see like just sitting still like that so I don't know I am very interested though in hearing what you guys think about the formaldehyde shark do you think that it's not ethical do you think it's art do you not think it's art do you view it in a way that most people wouldn't view it I'm curious to see what your guys's opinions and thoughts are about the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living which now that i read that title again i'm like hmm yeah it is hard to imagine a dead shark i can see a live shark but i guess a dead well no never mind i just saw a dead shark in my mind i thought that maybe the point of it was like oh it's hard to think of a dead shark because you think of a dead shark you think of it just floating in the water and i guess that's kind of what he did with the formaldehyde so maybe i do kind of get it but then again i think of a shark washed up on the shore and i can definitely see a dead shark so maybe not so much <laughs> but uh yeah i'm very curious to see what you guys think that is it for me however uh be sure to come back tomorrow we'll, where i will talk about another controversial person so hopefully i will see you then bye guys